if you're a Safiri lover, read with Safiri is by design. I'm here with my very last birthday gift basket that I'm going to make for my son. This is the third and final basket. This is going to be a bubblegum basket, a gumball basket. I picked up most of the items from the Dollar Tree and I had a few items just kind of laying around in my craft room and then I had one item that I picked up from the Michael store. Hobby Lobby actually. So I'll let you take a look at the items on my table. I just picked up several different packages of the Double Bubble brand of gumballs and bubblegum. All different types of flavors. This is a piece of fabric from the Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. I just thought that those little circles kind of mimic gumballs, so I picked that up. I have some little party favors over here that kind of mimic gumballs, so I picked those up. This is the inspiration behind the project. This is a little wood decoration piece that I found at the Hobby Lobby. Then I have some more embellishments here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is remove this sticker from my gift basket here, and I'm gonna wipe it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna attach this little embellishment, embellishment piece to the front of it. This is like a gumball machine. Uh, it's made out of wood and it's really cute. And so I'm gonna attach that to the front going to be a little tricky getting this on here because this container is at an angle and so I'm going to have to attach this with some hot glue. I hope it goes well. So I was able to attach the little gumball machine to the vase, no problem at all, stuck right on and I just did a line of hot glue down the center of it and stuck it on that way. Next I'm going to take this fun little piece of fabric and kind of drape it over into the vase. Cute and simple is the basket coming together. I just love those little pops of color. It just looks so fun. So the next thing that I plan to do is make some little gumball sticks or little decoration pieces that stand up. So I'm going to attach some of these foam circles to some large straws and I'm just going to have these kind of popping out of the basket just as picks. Here's a look at my little gumball pick and so I'm going to make a few more of these. So next I'm going to go ahead and start placing my packages of can uh, bubble gum inside of the container. I have eight packages and so I'm hoping they all fit. I really want the gumballs themselves to be the start of the show, so I'm going to put all the other packages towards the back. So here is how our little basket is looking. It looks just like a little blooming flower arrangement. I love it. So I'm going to add some more embellishments to it. I'm going to go ahead and put some of my little circle picks down in there. Not exactly sure how these work. Maybe my hands are too big, but they are cute and they do resemble gumballs. So I'm going to stick these down in there as well. And then for these spinning tops, you really won't be able to see them all too much down in the basket. But I'm just going to sprinkle them in where I see some empty spaces. So for the topper for the gift, I'm not going to use any bow or anything like that. I'm going to try to use this ball to mimic a giant gumball. And I'm going to attach the words happy birthday to this. Now, this is just a piece of packing tape. And I'm hoping this is going to stick to the ball. Okay, so what I had to do was cut some of that tape down and it fit a lot better. so much for tuning in to watch my gift basket video I think it turned out cute and colorful enough can't wait to see my son's little face when he sees his gift basket on his birthday stay tuned for the next video